Konnichiwa, I'm Necrosanium, and I'm going to teach you how to use BMD Editor. Just the basics. The first thing you want to do is select bones, right? Or select parts of her. She is a 3D CG model, so she is going to be a little different than Animosa models like Rin and Niku and Kaito that come with the MMB. Since I'm working on her right now, she's actually me as a model. So first thing you do it'll start out like this so the first thing you want to do is click this button so you can select parts of her it'll start out where it's this button selected and when you drag it across the screen which is the left mouse button and you try to select a part of her like if you want to make her hair longer it'll select other parts too like parts of her back parts of her head and you don't want that, otherwise it'll make everything look weird, like, for instance, when I try to do that, look what else it makes longer. Everything. And in case you didn't know what I just did to undo it, it's Control z to undo pretty much any program on anything, even some things on the internet. So to select your hair, go here. And since you don't exactly, in order to find, okay, now it doesn't work because you have nothing selected. I want to find her hair, so you have to look through them all just to find out which one her hair is. I already made the front of her hair longer, so now it looks weird. And I already know that it's 7 and 8 because I figured that out a while ago. I forgot to unselect one. And so to make it longer, it's this green button. The blue and the red will make it wider and thicker. And then the teal one drags it. You have to remember this is the updated new version of PMD Editor. So if you don't have the new version, you have to download it and find it. I'll provide a link to the new version of PMB Editor. A little longer so it can match the bangs. I'm not going to explain physics because that's really complicated actually. I'll probably do that in another video, but and that's how you do it. Another thing to do is color changing. I just selected the skin. The numbers here will always be the same parts as here. So if you change this, you'll be changing her skin bright red. Never ever put bright colors like I just did because that will make it look really retarded in MND. It'll look like it's um, an alien, it'll look like really cartoony, but you want it to look realistic. So, for instance, changing the hair color, if you put it straight black, it'll look like you can't see features, you can't see the features, you can't see anything. It'll just look a, like a straight black blob. So, there you have it, the basics of, M of PMD Editor. Hope this helped. If you have any questions, just ask. I'll make an advanced tutorial later, but this is all. And you have to remember that this is a 3D CG model made with 3D Custom Girl. So, it's going to be different than Animasa models. For instance, if you select, like, the socks, the socks will move and it won't affect the rest of the body. Like I'll take the shoes off and it won't affect the rest of her. With the Animasa model like Rin, Len, Niku, Kaito, etc. If you try and delete like the shirt for instance, if you delete that you'll be deleting the entire part where the shirt covered. 
Anyway, thanks for watching. Sayonara.